Hi everybody, welcome to the Cozy Hermitage Craft Room. My name is John. This is just a quick update. I haven't been doing too good this week. I, my Both my hips are bothering me and my back and my knees and I pretty much haven't been able to get out of my my chair for much of anything. I can't work on my knitting machine or anything, but I have been sitting in my chair knitting while I'm watching TV. And so I have uh, did a little bit more on my project here. This is just gonna be a big long scarf. I'm gonna keep knitting on it until I get tired of it. I need to get some more yarn hopefully tomorrow. Um, these are on uh, US 11. Uh, prim ergonomic needles kind of they're kind of neat they kind of pop together so it keeps your yarn from coming off and they have kind of a I don't know if you can see that they have kind of a different end they have a little kind of kind of blunt then it's rounded here and then it goes into kind of a triangle three-sided shape and then this is the end that they fit in and there's the they're not they're not I, I kind of I'm getting used to them but I, I still think I like my um, boy aluminum needles a little better i can't find my size 11 though so i found a pair on on ebay and i ordered those and hopefully they'll those will be here this weekend and and i can kind of i can swap needles and try those for a while and just kind of swap back and forth and see what i see what i like doing so that's what I've been up to. Lots of lots of knitting, just sitting there watching cooking shows and YouTube videos. Uh, Arnie and Carlos and the Last Homely House and some of those other other shows I like. No, not moving around too much if I can help it. Just, just kind of sitting. If we do have to go try cities tomorrow and get our trailer, they were they had they were working on it. There were some problems with it, and so I have to I have to take a bunch of pain pills and go get that. That's about a I don't know hour and a half two hour trip down there so that's long but I think I'm gonna have my wife take me to Joanne's while we're on our way there so I can get some more yarn for my scarf because of my balls getting a little bit low <laughs> so not too sure what yarn to get. This is really soft. I really like this yarn. I like the color of it. I think this is just going to be multicolored because I'm going to have different yarns. So I don't think I'll find more of this because I don't know how old this, this yarn is. What is it? Woolies. I think it's Lion Brand. Yeah, Lion Brand Woolies. So, it doesn't say what... Uh, yeah, there's the specifics of the yarn if you're interested. And this is all I have left, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more. Let's see what I can find. It'll be similar or different, it can be different. 
Right. I was using uh, this bag. It's my knitting bag. I, mean, I still have some some yarn in it, but I don't know. It's kind of too small. And I always like this bag when I'm going places or sitting there at my chair knitting because it's just kind of it's tall enough and it's compact and it has a long strap on it. So I'll try, I'll probably switch again <laughs> in another couple of weeks. You'll see me with another, I have quite a few knitting bags that just kind of I'd find one I liked and I'd use it for a while and I'd find another one I liked and I'd use it for a while and I just kind of went through them but I think I've talked to you about these good to go bags before I have I have the mid size and the large size they really are kind of big to take around but this one you can take anywhere and if I'm just working on this knitting project I don't I don't need them really big bag but I need a bigger one than what I was using so this will be this will be fine for now take it with me tomorrow and knit on the way down there uh, so how, are, how have you all been Ho hopefully everyone's doing well and they're working on their craft projects so I've we did still need to do some cleaning around here. I haven't done anything, mostly because it requires bending and twisting, and I just can't do that. So, uh, just, just sitting. Uh, still have puppies. I think we've sold one so far. <laughs> which I think we're going to wind up with lots of dogs. <laughs> and that's all right. I like I like dogs, I like cats, I like chickens, and all of those creatures. I told my wife if we get rid of all the puppies, because we have we have this house. It's it's a it's not big, but it's not probably bigger than those tiny houses. But it uh, has windows and door, and and. Uh, when the workers were fixing it up to hold the puppies, I had to put a little puppy door in, and uh, and we put this this what was it, this week or last week we put fence around and made a fenced area for them so they can go outside and play. And they've and I think I posted a video on that. They they love going outside. They they wait to go outside and. Uh, which is which is really great, and the their their pin is attached to the our big dog's pin. They have a big area that they play in, and and so part of the puppy fence is the dog fence, and so they they sit there and line up and and uh, play with each other and talk to each other, and the bigger dogs try and get the puppies to push their toys through to them and then they take them. <laughs> uh, puppies haven't figured that out yet, but um, yeah, so they, anyway, I was, uh, I was telling my wife that uh, now if we get all, get, a, get all the puppies sold and get some chickens and put in the, <laughs> put in the little house. They already have a little place to run around and play and yeah. It'd be fun to get some chickens in there, but eh, then can't really go anywhere because we'd have more animals to take care of. And <laughs> so, yeah, but I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go places anyway, the way, the way my body's acting. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me see. Oh, we have a train show coming up this weekend. We'll be going to that out in Spokane. Spending, camping at the fairgrounds. 
the trailer and everything. Um, my wife's taking us up there and setting up the trailer for us and then she's coming back here to take care of puppies and my youngest and I will be there staying there to try and help out the train show. I'll have my mobility scooter that I'll be scooting around in to see what I can do. I think, uh, I don't know whether our train club is going to have a booth there this time or not. If they do, maybe I can go help them sell stuff. And uh, you know, that would just require me sitting there and taking money. So we'll see. We'll see. My son will be running trains at the N-Scale Modular Club display and uh, he gets to run his trains there. We have a couple modules that they use and we have to bring those to him on Friday. Uh, we'll be there Thursday but take it to him on Friday. Uh, yeah, hopefully I make it through that. Hopefully I make it through all this stuff and then <laughs> Then on Monday, I have a doctor's appointment Well, where she was planning on giving me a shot in one of my hips, but I had to tell her that both hips were acting up now and part of my back, and so I said I'd give her a heads up to let her know what was going on in case she needed to change some plans. So, so she gave me some things to try, upping one of my medications, gabapentin and see if that does anything. I'm supposed to let her know in three days whether it does or not. And uh, then she'll try something else, but we'll see, we'll see. Sure, I'm complaining a lot today. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to complain, but. Yeah, I uh, finished. The evening liturgy of the hours and that's really good um, I don't know if you know what the liturgy of the hours is it's a Catholic uh, there's prayer times there, there's um, morning and um, afternoon evening nighttime offices of readings which is really good I, I enjoy doing that one um, but there, let me see. There's four of these books. This one is for the Lenten Lenten season. And there's one for the ordinary time, and, and there's one for Christmas. And I think there's another one for ordinary time. That's a whole set, and these are large print, so with my magnifying glass, I can kind of read them. And uh, I try and do that every day, every morning, and nighttime. I usually don't do the afternoon ones because we're usually busy, and that's not a good excuse, but I do the evening one and, and do the office of the reading. And, so I do do that three times a day. Uh, it doesn't take too long, maybe 10 minutes. And they do have, uh, I don't know if they, there's this book called Christian Prayer. And it's has a Psalter. Uh, it's just like, it's like a, one volume version of the liturgy of the hours and it's this is large type too and let's, let me see if i can find the uh... so if you're interested in doing this i'm going to start out with this book shorter christian prayer and it's it has uh, the it has the Psalter, which is uh, the Psalms, Book of Psalms, and uh, or there's prayers, there's the 
kind of tells you how to do it. And there's lots of flipping around with this one, but and there's there's hymns that you sing. You usually sing a hymn first, and then you go into the psalms. And then, so this is a good starting point if you're interested in this. This is you can figure it out fairly easily. And there's there's YouTube videos and stuff, and there's uh, if you look it up on Google, you'll, there's hints on how to do it. So there's that one, and then from that one, you can move up to to this one if you want something a little more. And this one has it's a bit longer. It has more. There's more to it, and it has. If I remember right, it has a, there's, there's just, there's just more, there's evening prayers, there's, yeah, I didn't plan this, so I'm not well prepared, so, <laughs> but if you're interested in this, let me know, and I'll, I'll go into it in a little more detail. And then, and there's the, there's the other volumes of the Liturgy of the Hours. And then there's the one I'm currently in right there. So, that's what I, something I enjoy doing. It brings me closer to God. There's... There's a, in the liturgy of the hours, the office of the reading, um, usually there's, and this is in the, both of the other prayer books, there's uh, usually three, two psalms, and there's a, um, sometimes three, and then there's a, um, reading from the Bible. And then off of the reading, you do that. And then there's also, you read um, quite a bit of, I think right now we're in Exodus. And it takes us, it kind of takes, you kind of wind up going through the Bible in a way. You get quite a bit of it. And that's every day. And uh, then there's also, after you do the part in the Bible, which is maybe a chapter or so, I mean, it's a couple pages, page and a half at least. Then there's a, usually a reading by um, some Catholic author. Um, one of the past popes or current pope or you know whatever whenever the current when the book was printed but um and some of the fathers of the church you know way back you know thomas aquinas and um some of some even way back when you're going wow these these guys really knew their stuff considering you know way back desert fathers you know um it's pretty i really i really enjoy those those parts and and uh, learn quite a bit and the and you know on that on these in the psalter you um it's a four week cycle so you go through one week and then second week third week fourth week and you go back to the first week and um and they're the same you know they're the same each week not the first week isn't the same as the second but you know second third fourth and uh and then in the liturgy of the hours those the like in the one we're doing now for Lent, 
and Easter. Um, the Psalter part is the same up until you're done with the psalm portion. And then the readings and the prayers and stuff, that's at the front of the book, and it goes through the different weeks up until Lent and up until Easter. And so there's something different that you're reading each time. And the same with the Office of the Readings. It's the readings are different, but it'll be the same next year. But by that time, I'll have forgot about what they were, and I'll get to read them again. <laughs> so, but after a while, you get to kind of get to your remembering the Psalms, and you know the old monks and stuff. They did them so often; they knew them all by heart and everything. So, but it's kind of nice when you. It's kind of it's kind of good feeling when you're reading, oh, I remember I know I know what this is and kind of it's not not too hard to read it because I kind of know what it is so the, the Psalms and uh, it's I I like it. oh there's there's the songs at the beginning this is this is the office of the reading. You see it has a hymn at the beginning. I really like these hymns. Uh, and some of them, you, you do the hymn and and at the at the end of the, the hymn it'll tell you when it was when the author you know, the dates of the author and stuff and some of those you go, well, it's really, it's really a good hymn, and you realize it was, it was written back in the 300s or the 1600s or the 1400s, and going, I didn't think their music was or their songs were like that back then, because they would have fit in just fine now, and I even liked them better than uh, some of the songs they sing in church now. But, yeah. Anyway, that's, I don't know. I don't know if you're interested in that or not, but um, yeah, that's just a part of my life. And you can get, you can get these books um sometimes amazon has them um if you it's like they come out in october or something on amazon and if you don't order it right away they're gone <laughs> and so i found them on ebay and they're a reasonable price and they also have them for the for the christian prayer book it just you just look up the day and it tells you we're in the book um, we're in the book you should be for that particular day and then it just goes on and there's the feasts and the, all that stuff and I usually don't follow the feasts I just like to go through the Psalter as it is every once in a while I'll I'll do some of the feasts, um, but so there's there's quite a bit to do, and um, it's all biblically based. If you're interested in that, I mean, you don't have to be a Catholic to do any of those books. Um, there's non-Catholics that uh, use them, and uh, do the prayers and do the readings and it just kind of helps you grow closer to God and that's what I'm finding I'm I feel like I'm getting closer to God the more I might do this and I 
finding it's, uh, you know, you, I don't want to get up <laughs> and I don't want to stay awake to do this and I don't want to get up to do that, but you no, know, you just wind up doing it and you're going, oh, well, I'm glad I, I'm glad I got up and did my, did my, did my prayers for the day <laughs> or the morning or the evening or, uh, sometimes I'll, usually the office of readings I do, um, Late at night, midnight, around around that time. If I'm in bed, I'll just wake up and I'll do it. And and uh, morning prayers. I was getting up at five o'clock. I've kind of slacked off a bit on that, but uh, so I'm gonna set my alarm again for five. And and because uh, no one's awake. <laughs> And I can just, and the puppies aren't in the, I, I had stopped for a while because I'd get up at five and come out and the puppies were in the house. So I'd wake the puppies up and then the puppies would start barking. And I'd have to run back into my room, and wait for the puppies to calm down. I didn't dare come back out. And so I didn't get morning readings done for a while. But now that the puppies are out in the puppy house, I can get up at five and not bother anybody and uh, do my reason and go back to bed or stay awake or whatever I want to do. Kind of nice getting up in the morning. I mean, it's kind of like if I, if I get up and I don't do my morning prayers, I'm just kind of tired. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of <laughs> wandering around waiting for my coffee. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, if I get up at like five o'clock in the morning, instead of being, I can start out being a little bit tired, but once I open the book and get into it, I, I don't know, there's like a, kind of livens me up. I feel more awake, a little more alive. I'm not, not tired. I'm alert and paying attention to what I'm doing. And it's, uh, it's enjoyable. It's, uh, helps me prepares me for my day let's put it that way and uh, makes my makes my day more enjoyable and and then uh, you know if I'm home and I'm kind of by myself or or if my wife's in her room watching TV or something and it's noon or something I'll, I'll uh, if I remember I'll come in and do the do the afternoon readings and afternoon prayers and it was uh it just kind of helps get you through your day those and it takes it takes maybe um 10 minutes to do the or less to, to do the um the uh morning and and evening prayers and about the same for the afternoon prayers you do the afternoon prayers go a little bit faster and, and the officer reading takes a little bit longer maybe 15 minutes so but well well worth the time well worth the effort um, and uh, uh yeah if, i mean if anyone has questions about this or anything then you know, please drop me a line. I think I have my email address in the description of the YouTube channel. And, you know, you can email me if you want to. I'd be happy to help, you know, if you're interested in shorter Christian prayer, or the longer the Christian prayer, or the um, liturgy of the hours, you know, let me know. And I'll, if you have questions, and I'll see if I can answer them for you. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I got into <laughs> that discussion, but <laughs> uh, kind of glad I did. So, anyway, that's part of part of my life, and um, you can agree with it or disagree or like it or not, or you know, it's up to you. But that's that's me. That's who I am, and I'm okay with that. So...
Let me see. Strength. Oh, <laughs> there is a. There's this book here called the Monastic Diurnal. And it's really a little thick book. But it, it too has the Psalter in it for. And this is what the monks would carry around with them when they would go, when they'd leave the monastery, when they'd go traveling or, or, the, or, or not traveling, but when they'd go into town or something so they could, so they wouldn't miss their, their prayer times. They use, I have not figured out how to use this <laughs> yet. Uh, and I have the, the Psalter I know, but I don't understand the rest of it. So I gotta, every once in a while I pick it up and try and figure it out. And one of these, one of these days I'll figure it out. And uh, I, I really like, the, I really like the little book. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's just, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so they, they'd use this and it has uh, the morning and the afternoon and the evening prayers but it doesn't have the night prayers and I don't think it, it doesn't have the office of the readings because they're supposed to have been back in the monastery by the time those things came about so anyway I really like this book I've wanted one for a long time and I finally found one that uh they're these are kind of they're a little bit spendy for the size of the book but it's I think it's well worth it and I can this has um, Latin, Latin and English. That's just why it's so fat. So, yep. Yeah. <sighs> so that's probably more stuff than you wanted to know about <laughs> about that. But <laughs> um, anything else I can share while I'm here? No, I guess not. So, anyway. I guess that's all for now. Um, yeah, you know, and if you if you're interested in me praying for you, then you know, send me a drop you a comment or or uh, send me an email with with what you want me to pray for you about, and happily include that in my prayers during the course of the day or. Um, and uh, usually pretty good about praying for people if I tell them I'm going to pray for them. Or, um, so, yeah. This is a long, this is a long one this time. I already had over a half an hour. So, guess that'll be all for now because this is longer than what probably most people will watch and I and I found that I have lost a subscriber so now I only have 35 instead of 36 subscribers so see if we can gain that one subscriber back you know if you if you watch my channel and you like the videos though they're kind of random and I don't know that there's anything worthwhile in them but <laughs> Hopefully you're finding something worthwhile to watch them. And if you watched this long, that's pretty good. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have watched, then you know, subscribe. Give me a give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate those thumbs up. I don't get many of them. And usually I have I have maybe 15, 15, 16, I think is the highest one of the I don't know. Lately, it's been about 15, 16 people that watch my, watch these uh, weekly videos. And that's, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm uh, surprised anyone's watching them. I don't know how many of them are my children either <laughs> watching. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, you know, like, subscribe. You know, drop me a comment, drop me an email if you want. Email is the cozy hermitage at gmail.com. Um, yes. So, 
I will end it now and I will stop talking. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you see you later. Uh, maybe I'll throw in some puppy videos later on during the week. Uh, well, actually, I'll be I'll be in Spokane for most of <laughs> from Thursday until Sunday. And then Monday I'll be in Wenatchee for my doctor's appointment, where hopefully she'll be giving me shots all over the place to make me feel better and let me function better so I can do more. Uh, I hate just sitting in my chair, not being, I want to, but that movement of going back and forth with the, uh, on the vending machines can trigger some painful things <laughs> so anyway anyway enough about me enough talking um thank you for watching and i'll see you all next week bye